Afternoon, everyone. It is day number eight of architecting. And well, now what? So as many of you undoubtedly know, uh, yesterday, many of the uh, world leaders and government leaders have made it very clear to us that the next 30 days are going to be extraordinarily challenging, specifically the next two weeks. Not that the last two weeks haven't been, but it's now going to get more intense. Why? Well, one, we haven't seen the arc of this thing yet. This thing is really starting to dive in pretty hardcore, right? So two, it's going to get real for us at a very smaller level, microcosmic level, right? Right now we're thinking it's New York, it's California, it's Washington, it's you know Italy, it's Spain. But now it's going to get very, very real from the perspective that it may hit home, right? And when they say things like, hey, 100,000 to 250,000 people may, you know, experience death um, over the next peak or so, that's a pretty daunting number, which means it could be higher than 10%, it could be lower than that, who knows? But either way, no different than when we first started realizing that autism was going to become a very specific thing. Um, while autism obviously doesn't cause the extreme scenarios that, that COVID-19 does, it still touches everyone's lives. So the question becomes now, now what? Now what do we do? How do we deal with that? Holy crap, holy. You know, it's the first time we've had to deal with something like this in our generation, whereas maybe it was our, you know, in my case, my parents' generation would be the Vietnam War, the Korean War, before that, maybe even the baby boomers with the uh, World War II, you know, and then obviously the previous generations going all the way back to the bubonic plague in the late 1800s, right? So this is the first time we've had to deal with something on a global scale where it isn't there is no such thing as oh that's just happening over there to them and it will never get to the small towns of the united states or canada or mexico or anywhere it will it's in inevitable now am i disseminating medical information no i'm not i'm just telling you my personal opinion based on observation however even though when it when it gets close is that one that's when it starts getting real for people so as uh, you've seen on media, you know, the, the spring breakers down in Florida acting like it's not real and now many of them now are infected. So now we have to take what social distancing means and we put that together with we are a creature of social, of, of social connection. We are creatures that want to connect. I mean, we are, you know, for lack of definition, herd mentality. Now we're gonna move into this uh, more of a tribal phase in my opinion. So what does tribal mean? Tribal means we're gonna pool resources and uh, meaning that, you know, truly your neighbor is going to become, you know, like a member of your family um, from the perspective that we, you know, have to pool what we have. And that, that could be financial, that could be food, that could be protectionary, that could be spiritual, that could be emotional. Uh, it's gonna be all of that, right? So now what, what do we do now? Well, as far as what the architect community is doing is we are continuing to expand our borders and set our new interactive platform, uh, offering more and more free resources uh, with no bullshit upsell, no thing on the backside, nothing there. If you want to go further, you can. We are still continuing with our personal and long-term uh, agenda of looking for the 1,000 AITs. We are obviously below 1,000 now. We had four AITs come in the last week. For those of you who do not know what AITs are, they are the second level of someone's architectural journey. So the first part of the journey starts at the jump, which is what we're offering to you now. And it costs you absolutely nothing to take that. It is absolutely free. Uh, you can see the link right there in the post. Take the first three days, experience it, check it out for yourself. Um, there are resources in there as well. I'll explain those in a second. The second level is what's called architects in training. It is the AITs for short. And once, I, once you're inside the architect community, you'll know that acronym pretty well. And that's the 14 weeks of hardcore training. And I say hardcore, not meaning that you need to be educated or you need to have, uh, you know, in the, be in the self-help or self-transformational world prior. You don't, um, but you'll learn how to become the foundations of architecting. What does it mean to be on a foundation? What, is it, what do you understand about how this thing really works? Where jump is experiential, we're gonna guide you through it. You're gonna do the work, but you're gonna experience it on three levels. You know, what's going on, how to apply it, and experience it in real time in the worksheets that back you up. AIT says, well, hey, this is kind of a do it for me program. And I don't mean that literal, but you get my point. AIT drops into more of now we're going to show you how it works. And then of course, uh, from the thousand AITs this year, we will be picking uh, be approximately 50 to 100 that'll go through mastery. Mastery is 28 weeks. It is challenging, but that's where we teach you the process of architecting. And you can actually come out on the other side 
uh, in your passion and your architect brand. And we help you develop that brand as a significant contribution to the world because that's really your passion because the, the passion of the architects is to help people wake themselves up. We don't do it for you, but we'll do it alongside you. So now what? So now we get to look at what's really interesting, right? So a lot of people are saying, well, you know, this is kind of a global reset. And when this is all over, everything will back to normal. Okay, first of all, there is no normal. So let's just stop that. That's just lunacy. There, A, there was never a normal. And B, going back to it is in it's a sequencing issue, meaning that our brain has a imprinted memory of our past, of what that looks like, what it felt like, what experience, commonly called a memory, right? And to go back and say that experience is now I'm going to bring it here into the current moment and into the future is highly unrealistic. We all know just by observation that you're talking about a global restart here. So I'm not saying that it can't be done. In fact, I know it will. What I am saying is how it's going to be done is really uncharted territory. We've never had to do something like this in human history, uh, uh, at least not since the bubonic plague um, in previous times. This is a global scenario. The, the days of us and them are over. It's just us. And if we're not careful, Mama Earth is going to continue to remind us that she's running the show down here and that this will be a species cleansing, which means the numbers can get extraordinarily high, right, of people who are going to leave the planet. And that means the rest of us that are here are really going to get an opportunity to now look at how we want to approach normal. So normal will be something like this. Because again, we're getting mixed messages, right? So we want to stay connected, but yet we have to practice social distancing. If you've seen the hashtag that's running around that says hashtag alone together, how the hell does that work? We're alone together? What the hell does that mean? We're not alone. There is no such thing as alone in today's world. We're all in this one way or another. So what we get to do now is we get to one, look at how do we want to live our lives going forward? Undoubtedly, Online and the internet is going to be a massive part of that. We're going to talk about talk about our needs being supplied to us by shipping. We're going to talk about education being uh, online. Architect is obviously doing that as well as part of, as part of its educational platforming, interactive learning, um, communication, uh, exercise. You know, some of the architects are now doing their the their yoga brand online um, with. Um, uh, broadcasting, exercise and training, um, everything's going to go. I wouldn't be surprised if elections go online, although I don't have any proof of that, but it's just kind of a thing, right? So everything's going to shift. So then becomes what's interesting is the reality that we lived in, that bubble has now been burst. And now are we looking at maybe virtual reality online and uh, offline being our new reality? Is there a whole virtual world we're going to go in and create? You know, does art imitate life or life imitate art? Depends on which one you choose to believe. But now what really boils down to some of the things that architect is continuing to do. Uh, I can tell you that the uh, Beyond the Secret film is being uh, revamped so that it can be deliver delivered um, with, with flawless ease. Uh, that should be coming out tomorrow from what I've been told so we can educate ourselves from there, from myself and other great uh, uh, thought leaders and directors who are in that uh, in that film alongside. So there's one option. Inside the architect community, you've got all these resources. If you were here with me yesterday, I made the announcement that I moved into the free audio programs, the um, uh, free from stress and, or scratch that, the self-confident self-esteem program is there for you now. The stress and worries program is there for you now. Programming the A, which is helping those of you who are parents or homeschooling, helping your kids still stay focused on that part of their education. And also you've got architecting uh, vinyasas in there with yoga, with, uh, with Connie and Rob. And now uh, more architects are coming, finally answering the call of myself to bring the architects back into the architect community and to, to the need that you have. There, the CRM is working well. We are uh, working on turning two things on this week as soon as humanly possible, uh, given the workload that we have. One, there'll be an internal broadcast capability inside our new platform, which means we can talk to everybody in the community. And right now there's over 200 jumpers going through right now who are going through the free jump and determining. And we had many jumpers already jump into the full jump, by the way. And we, we made sure that that and Barrett entry is nothing. It's 97 bucks. 
right? 97 bucks and you get all the rest of the jump training, all the audios, unlimited as much as you want. If you want to do the AITs, well, we've lowered that price too. We've made it so people can do it. We're even doing financing options because now's the time to educate. So that now what that we're talking about really is going to boil down to now what do you want your life to do? Do you want to sit around and continue to watch, you know, movies unlimited, I guess, or start to educate yourself from a perspective of, hey, what I thought life was going to look like in the past and what we all thought it was going to look like has now shifted, whether I like it or not. We can you know, bitch, moan, wh uh, whine, and complain, but the facts are, this is where we are. And it's in the next 30 days, it's going to get more challenging. We're going to get more and more isolated. The travel is going to get more restricted. And, and I'm not trying to be doomsday family. I'm not. I just you know, see it coming, and you can see it just by watching. And that's okay that it's going to come. But what we get to do during that time now is a choice. See, because our life's still ticking. This isn't just, gee, my life's on hold until blank. Your life's still going. Every day that we spend doing something, you can either do something to unwind your past and set yourself up for where you want the next chapter in your life to go, or you can continue to think that it's going to return back to normal and anytime soon, and then be subject to whatever those patterns are now running into, bang, what life is like going forward. That choice, of course, is resides solely and completely up to you. Now, if you're like most, most really don't know the difference between a decision and a choice. And there are two radically different things. And those are things you can learn inside the jump. But what's really starting to get fun inside our new platform is it's interactive. So as you learn, we're tracking the data. So you'd learn by testing at the end. And it's fun testing. It's multiple choice. So it's not like you have to strain your brain here. But we do want you to learn it because, see, everyone's out there now saying, hey, learn this. You got to stay connected, do all that. But no one's really showing how. Architect community is about a how. So the now what is... What if you learn by that? What if you got a step-by-step -step and you got to experience it for free? One, because that's our response mechanism, because that's really the passion of the architects. And our, our, our goal for this year, which has, you know, was way before COVID-19 ever showed up, was only to train 1,000 AITs. We're still holding to that, but we're going to open the community wide for everybody else so they can experience the resources. So, And now is, are you now going to continue to do the same thing you're doing? Or are you going to step forward and jump in? Because everything we do in our life has to start with a jump got to jump in the pool. You got to jump into your life. You got to jump out of bed. You got to jump up and get a phone call. You got to jump into a shower. You got to, you got to start with a jump. That's why it's called the jump training. You jump in and you can apply these skills to wherever you want to apply them into your life. And the best part is you start for free. So you know immediately that it resonates with you. You know, it feels right. It makes sense up here at a logical level that gives you resources you can actually apply right now. Not, Hey, you know, uh, I'll think about it, hopes it shows up somewhere under some law of attraction BS, but real step-by-step -step programs, and it's wash, rinse, and repeat because you have an entire architect global community that supports you. And we're inside our customer relations management software, so we're staying in touch with you by text, we're staying in touch by email, and now the internal broadcasting will be turned on inside the platform this week. And then the second part of that is the affiliate dashboard. And so once you are an AIT, you have the right and opportunity to literally refer other people to it and earn while you learn as you start to step into what it means to be an architect, what you architecting looks like for you, the audience that you really cater and resonate with because you are the unique messenger of your space. Hence why we limit it to a thousand AITs and we limit it even further to the masters who go on and become true brand builders and true architects like many you see that are on this call right now who have gone through this process and those who are architect advisors and architect council members. So there's a strong position of hierarchy, but it's a reverse model. So for those of you who don't know that, you know, most models are way up here and down, right? Here's the CEO and the founder and everybody below and the guru and all that other stuff. That's not architect. I'm at the bottom. Our model is reversed, just like our logo. So I'm at the very bottom. There's the architect council, and then there's the general council, and then there's the trainers, and then there's the graduates, and then there's the AITs, and then there's the jumpers, and then there's John Q. Public. So it works reverse. So we support each other as we go wider and that vision continues to grow because now more than ever, uh, we really need to do something different. So now what becomes looking to where our brain objects. Now, if you're like most, when you hear this invitation, your brain goes, yeah, that sounds really great. And now I got to go do this. I got to go do the groceries. I got to go watch Netflix. I want to go, you know, tell the kids to shut up or, you know, I'm going to go play video games or I'm going to step outside and see this big ball out there that they call the sun that, you know, I haven't seen in weeks myself, but nonetheless, I'm going to do that, but I'm also practicing social distancing and I'm, uh, you know, doing my time to stay in whatever, you know, uh, stay at home, safe rules or quarantine, wherever you are in the world. Okay, great. 
But now, how many movies can you watch? How many games can you play? Until your brain starts to go, huh, I'm getting bored, which over the next 30 days, you're going to experience this in a whole nother way, right? And unlike anything we've ever experienced, at least in this last five generations that I'm aware of, maybe four generations, right? But nonetheless, our lifetime, right? And the unwinding of what it normal looks like and now can really become a very powerful question of, and now what? Well, let's agree, as I said in the earlier part of this conversation, if we're not and now meaning making decisions or choices, you choose, right? We are literally going to be looking for ourselves to go into the past of what we've already done. And if we're staying in the past of what we've already done, you already have those results. You've got, in some cases, my case, I'm now 49. You've got four decades of data, commonly called your past, to prove that your habits repeat themselves. Now, the environment may change. Obviously, in this case, our environments have all gotten significantly smaller, like limited to wherever you are. But the, the results will be the same. Human psychology is not going to change because COVID-19 came on the planet. Now, we may adjust to how our environment works, but our basic internal working, our core structures are still there. So wouldn't it be interesting? And now, if you actually looked at some of this stuff, what do you have to lose? Again, you can only watch so many, you know, karate movies on, uh, on Netflix or Amazon or whatever the heck you're watching them on, right? Whatever you're streaming it on. And thank you for even watching me, by the way. I appreciate that. Um, and for whatever that's worth. But you have all these other free resources because we don't know what we don't know, but we can still expand and unwind simultaneously. Meaning that even though we're alone together, right? You can still have an entire community that's doing the same thing with you in these times and a place of nothing else. You can come and jam and sit down and go, man, I just want to share. I just want to talk. I don't want to be anybody. Uh, I don't want to you know, sit there and have to try to explain shit. I just want to be able to just sit there and go have a heart ping and have a connection with somebody that uh, can understand the language I'm talking about, who has been through many of the processes and experiences you have, if not the architect community at large has through the collective of all of us. Or, and most importantly, that you can do it in a way that you can feel realize that you are doing the work. You get to be proud of it. You're not just buying another program or doing another self-help thing, but you're actually doing it and becoming it most importantly. So, and now becomes, what do you want to do now? And I don't mean do is in doings. I mean, do is in choose, right? Choose. For many of you, that's going to be the first step. That's your first jump. And in architect language, we call that the guardians. And those are those little thoughts in your head that keep running around saying, oh shit, uh, we can't do that. This is too hard. I don't want to, you know, have to learn again, blah, 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 blah. And there are many guardians. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of guardians out there, right? But you can understand how to unwind them. You can understand how they work. And most importantly, you can dive down to the bottom of them because now more than ever, as we're going through this and believe me, people, it, it's coming and it's coming fast. We are going through in at least in some at least microcosmic way and potentially macrocosmic, um, a species cleansing. Mama Earth, Earth is a little pissed, right? I mean, uh, even even uh, um, yesterday, you know, afternoon, there was a 6.5 magnitude earthquake in Idaho. Idaho? When do we have earthquakes in Idaho? What are you talking about? But it's been that kind of year with volcanoes and whatnot. I'm not saying that the Earth doesn't constantly moving. It's a it's a living organism in and of itself, but it doesn't it seem like Earth is going, hey, you know, you guys claim to be very intelligent creatures, but you're kind of mucking things up. So we're going to throw this at you. So you guys have an opportunity to determine now and now what's important going forward. Is profit the number one thing? That that hasn't worked out too well. Is it you guys are gonna keep warring each other over whose God's bigger than who? Or are you guys finally going to come together and recognize that no different than any other species on the planet, our natural equilibrium, most importantly with ourselves, and then our, 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 our outline uh, experiences through social, um, social connectivity, social structures, countries, etc., can expand. But it starts with us. You know, the famous Michael Jackson song, you know, um, I'm going to start with the man in the mirror. Here's the irony. 
there it is. You get to stare at yourself all day long, every day, because there's nowhere to go. And you know, you know that old saying that says, you know, no matter where you are, no matter where you go, where you run, there you are. You cannot run yourself. Now more than ever, we can't. So and now takes on a really interesting opportunity for us to determine: Are we going to dive inside? Are we going to look at it, or are we not? Now, there's no right or wrong in it, family, and I'm not judging anybody for it. I mean, look, I, I will tell you up front and every architect, graduate, AIT, and jumper who's ever met me, engaged with me, knows the community over our 30-year journey will all say the same thing. I don't have all the answers for you. I'm not walking around like I'm some you know, know-it-all know damn guru or a Johnny-come-lately social media knucklehead looking for likes and whatnot saying kumbaya. I'm not. I'm on the journey too. I've just spent 30 years of my life on this journey. This has been the passion of me. Um, you know, three or four years ago, as, as many of the architect grads know, I had announced that I was going to spend the next 10 years of my life, basically the legacy phase of my life now on finishing the master goal of the architect community. And that was my passion and still is to this day is, uh, has that waned? No. Is it going to? No. And, um, should I become infected by, uh, COVID-19? Will that change? Should you? No, it won't change for me. So and now becomes, are we willing and ready? I mean, if nothing else, you've got nothing but time now. And I know that sounds odd because the illusion that we have time as far as our lives is one of those illusions we hypnotize ourselves with. But what I mean by we have time now is we're not as distracted as we're used to being. So now we get to choose, hey, what am I going to do for you know an hour a day? I mean, it's not like you don't have an hour to do it. You do. The question is, will you choose you first? Will you finally put yourself, and I'm not talking about choose you in a narcissistic way or self-centered or self-survival or some sort of tribalism, you know, I've got to, you know, protect me before everybody else. None of that crap. I'm talking about owning that it's often, and I'm super guilty of this in the past and, and even somewhat to this day, um, of putting other people's well-being, their health, their happiness, like I have any control of it anyways, because I don't, I don't, that's, and neither do you, that's one of our biggest illusions, uh, before my own, my own health. You know, the, um, I've done that in the past many times because I have justified it under the passion of wanting to see people wake themselves up because that really is my passion. That is my drug of choice. That has been the drug of my choice. And I've done all the drugs, family. Um, <laughs> I've done uh, all of them, not all of them, but a lot of them. And when a push comes to shove, that is the only drug or feeling that really aligns with me. It's the one that feels right. And I'm not talking about just, you know, helping people out, which although that right now is going to become very, very powerful in the next coming 30 days, maybe more. But what about helping yourself? One of the things you'll learn in the architect community, and you'll learn, especially when you become an AIT, it's actually the second lesson you go through in your first module. And you go through four modules as an AIT, four of them. And you get your certificates of completion and et cetera, et cetera. So we know. And you get your jumping completion as well when you go through the jump. So we, we know where you are. And we're tracking it through data so that you are learning the information. And I don't mean learning. It becomes a part of your DNA. It becomes a part of your being. So you don't have to sit there and try to practice it. It just is. It's the way it's designed. And so one of the lessons you learn is that you know, every time we're talking with someone, we're actually talking to ourselves. So a lot of times we like to talk at people like, here's my advice. You need to do this. You need to stay centered and sing Kumbaya and I need to be loved and all these really great messages, but they're really kind of fraught with some undercurrent of stuff, right? They don't feel authentic. You're like, eh, feels like you're just doing a social media post or you're just trying to get likes. You're trying to take advantage of a situation that's really intense, right? As opposed to, um, Many of us in this community have been here for 30, 40, or 50 years, long before the internet was really around. And, and uh, you know, I'm against Mr. Gore who invented that, <laughs> you know, supposedly. Uh, it comes down to um, really coming to the, the awareness that the world doesn't revolve around you. And it damn sure doesn't revolve around you in this, in this particular environment, but you are the center of your world. Now, your world's gotten a lot smaller due to the quarantines, restrictions, and government impositions that we are all under wherever you are on the planet, duly noted. But isn't that even more interesting? Because now you get to really determine what your world starts with, feels like, and moves like, but that starts with you. So one of the things we, we invite architects to in their, their first part of the AIT journey and even the jump is that when you speak with others, you're really speaking to yourself. 
And so whether that's someone who's pissing you off or someone who you adore or someone who you're, you know, you're just having a conversation with, by looking at that, you can start to see how things work on the outside of yourself because sometimes we're so locked in our own head, we can't see the forest through the trees, so to speak. And so this gives us a real good look at that. And we show you how to do that. We guide you through it so you can start to take ownership. See, there's this lot of the, one of the things that I'm a real big proponent on owning, and I hear this a lot, is... You got to take responsibility for your life. You got to own your life. You gotta, and it sounds really cool at cocktail parties, but realistically, owning every part of your life is a big, big freaking pill to swallow, fam. It's not easy because that means you get to own everything, not just the good, like, hey, man, look what I created. I'm a great creator, law of attraction, you know, bullshit. It's owning everything all the F ups, all the all breakups, all your company failures, all your personal failures, uh, your weight. Uh, you get to own everything. And that sometimes brings up some stuff. And now is when the time we want to look at that. We want to look at it in a time where we can work through that, create from where we really want to create, attract what we want to attract from the real emotions that we're really feeling, not the ones we think we are and we're putting on social media that sound really cool and all this other shit, but real bona fide authenticity. And the only person that can know if you're being truly authentic is you. Now, if you're like most though, we're so good at distracting ourselves. We're so good at the illusion of doing. We're so good at thinking just thoughts of just random crap. Even right now, we'll prove it again. I'll do this every single broadcast is that even though we're having this conversation right now, I guarantee every one of you watching has wandered off about other crap. Now, here's the question you can ask yourself that'll really bake your noodle. Where'd that thought come from? How did it even come into your world? And moreover, what was its purpose? Did it have an agenda? Or was it just to keep you distracted from that beautiful thing down here we call the heart in our world we call it the architect that is saying hey you know you've got a choice here to do something and now what do you want to do architect may not be the way for you again we don't think everyone's architects and i don't mean that in a, an arrogant kind of way i just know that it's a very very powerful journey and ask any architect who's graduated any architect council member anybody who's out there as an architect themselves in their own world and branding through the training they'll tell you it's not the easiest in the world when you go through mastery but the jump everybody should go through it is the passion of my time right now and i've been working on this for six months behind the scenes that the jump becomes a part of our, our national educational program, at least in certain areas. And we've been making strong headway and I'm really proud of that. And now more than ever, we need that kind of education, not how do I do calculus, which is important, don't get me wrong, but how do I get myself to stop thinking stupid shit? How do I keep staying awake at night and watching the ceiling fan spin around, around, around for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours? Or how do I stop the worry? How do I stop binge eating? How do I stop fighting with myself? How come I won't stop judging myself from all the stupid shit that I think I've done or I've not done from my past or my unrealized future? Have anybody experienced that in any way, shape, or form? And if your answer is no, then you probably haven't been on the planet more than 30 seconds. The rest of us, the answer is yes. And we've been searching our whole life for our passion, for our purpose, for how do I get out of my head and how do I live the life I really want to live and just not step living for the bills and living for other people. And not that other people are bad, but I mean in a priority structure because we can't help if we can't help ourselves. And more importantly, you can help yourselves and now you have a choice to do so, at least an opportunity to experience it. The architects are pushing the message out further and further and further because this is the passion of our heart. This is what we do all day long, 24 hours a day, at least in part and partial to the best of our ability. And for some of us, it is all we do. Our lives are committed to this. Now you're gonna watch. We've got people out there on the front lines in the medical industry, in the first responders, in governmental agencies, and good Samaritans who are literally risking their lives so that the rest of us can move forward. What happens when they're gone? Who's going to step up? But if we are operating on the same set of operational skills, mindset that we have been operating here to four, we are destined to recreate a new world going forward, a new normal that's just like the old one, but we've already seen that the old one is fraught with frustration. It is fraught with competition. It is fraught with fuck you, fuck you, as opposed to it could be, could be, and we have a grand opportunity architects, and we have a grand opportunity for those of you out there that we could create something different now because it's on a global 
scale. It isn't done one country, two country, four countries at a time. It's the whole freaking world's doing it. And so the architect community as a way, not the only way, but a way you can do that with architects around the world and we can start truly making dynamic shifts. And now we're back to the crux. Are you willing to jump? Doesn't cost you anything. In fact, you'll be able to affiliate later this week if you're an AIT. You know, our brand new AITs that have come in, congratulations. They've already met their architect advisors. They're already starting to jam. These are people that have understood that the life we all lived before has changed forever. Get over it, deal with it, watch how your mind's arguing with you and let's drop in and we'll show you how to jump in without you having to worry about me and Kumbaya or not feeling like you're not quite, you know, aligning with it. You don't want to sit there and, you know, you know, think about, wow, that's really cool, man. And oh God, that's great. I'm talking about real world application that does arrive at the heart, but allows you to experience all of your emotions and experience who you are as a being and understand them. I mean, for frick's sake, you know, for me, when I was in my twenties, even though I was Dr. Fox and thought I knew everything, I still couldn't understand what was missing. And as much knowledge, quote unquote, as I had up here, I didn't have it down here because there was a gap right? What we call the golden rope with that rope between the straight line between heart and head. The problem is we think it's heart, uh, head going down to heart. We're pushing this information down to our heart and then our heart tells us what's up and then we go back up. It's not people. It's always heart pushing up. This thing has got us so illusioned and has become the master of us that it, it has created a belief structure that says, I'm running the show. I'll check it out with the heart. And the heart says, cool, great. But how many songs have you all heard that said, you know, foolish heart? I mean, there's a great one by Steve Perry that says, um, you know, um, don't, I've, I've listened to you before my heart got broken. Yeah. Okay. That's part of, part of love. What you're going to learn as we go through this next month. And I've told you, I'm going to, we're going to dive into the darkness together. You're going to see our community broadcast inside the platform. They're going to go deeper. They're going to go more intense. Um, and they're categorized by where you are on your journey. If you're a jumper, it'll be, we're talking about the jump and the, the 14 days of the jump and the 14 hours of that. If you're an AIT, we're going to talk about, uh, not just the jump, but also your 14, um, uh, weeks and four and your four modules of the AITs. And of course, those who are in the mastery, you know, obviously, you know, we go down the rabbit hole pretty deep and it's not so that we can sit there and not be in the real world, quote unquote, meaning the real world. It's so that we're starting with this world first, starting here so that we're stabilized to the best of our known ability, understanding that this thing needs to work for us now more than ever. The message of who you are here is going to be need to be pushed up and going through this filter. We need to rework this puppy. But if we don't have a step-by-step -step system and a way to do that, engage it and track our data and make sure that we're learning and a community to support you, we are destined to fall back asleep to whence we just came from our prior life. It's normal. For me, can't do it. I've chosen not to. I've dedicated the last part of my life, which now is 49. So for those of you who are golfers, I have uh, made the turn. I'm on playing on the back nine of my life and my legacy and I don't mean Travis Fox's legacy. I mean the legacy of the architects, which I will pass on to the next generation, which is already here. And they're already teachers themselves. They're already well-trained, beautiful souls from all over the world and all walks of life. Male, female, doesn't matter. Education doesn't matter. Financial doesn't matter. They all came. They all answered the call because they listened to this. And they were willing to live their life differently and could dedicate their lives to helping other people live their life on point, on purpose, and on passion, on target. So the question becomes, and now... Are you ready? It's okay if you're not. It's okay if you're scared. It's okay if you're unsure. Okay, if you, you know, you got all those thoughts that say, crap, what if I have to really do the work? What if all this emotional stuff comes up? You know, what if all the stuff that I've been running from is finally in my face? When was it not? You were just really good at distracting yourself. So wouldn't it be really cool if you just took a jump for three days? There's a bunch of other assets in there hypnotherapy programs, yoga programs, meditations. And I'm proud to announce uh, coming up tomorrow, I'll be uploading a singing bowl meditation done by a very, very famous um, uh, bowl artist who does the singing bowls, if you know what they are. And it is just a bowl meditation that'll take you on about a 10 minute, beautiful, gorgeous journey that you'll be able to do. And you'll be able to take yourself wherever you want to take yourself. So, you know, you don't need to use one of our meditations or use one of our guidances, do it yourself, right? And that's what the beautiful power of the bowls, it's going to create the vibration of where it hits you and where you resonate with it in the most beautiful of ways. So that being said, those are your updates.
Uh, if you have any questions, you can pop them in there. Um, if not, make sure you do so inside our customer relations management software or the CRM over on the platform. You can register right there at architecting360.com forward slash register hyphen free to get your three days of the jump and access unlimited, by the way, access unlimited to all the assets I'm talking about and beyond. And also the, the conversations that will be starting over there. And you can put your own profile up there, your own experience, your own social media, and you can interact with other people. Again, this is all free. Cost you nothing. But this whole concept of us being um, alone is an illusion, unless you want to be. And now you get to choose, don't you? So what would it be like if you could actually just do something different, at least for a couple of hours, and experience things from a whole new perspective? Because whether you like it or not, it's here, fam. There's a whole new world coming, and it's being literally thrust at us minute by minute to the point where we are literally on the edge of our seat. Wouldn't it be interesting if we were also participating in that creation, at least for our part of the journey here on planet Earth? Anyway, put your questions in there. I'll see you inside the CRM. You can follow us over on our YouTube channel at Architect of Being, of course, here on Facebook, as you can see um, on the Architect page. If you'd like to join our private Facebook group, which is the Road to the One Million Architects, you can make a request there as well. And of course, jump into our new platform where it's completely interactive and you can learn how to become an architect yourself and get all the free resources that we're offering. Love and appreciate you guys. Stay safe. Remember, the world doesn't revolve around you, but you are the center of your world. How you architect from here is up to you. Architect out. Bye-bye.